Hey guys, this is Jaden Wilson speaking from Couch in the Mind, clearing the mind one couch talk at a time. And today we'll be going over the topic of the power of music. And to, with me today is our special guest, Adam Yu. How are you going, brother? Doing good, brother. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks, bro. So I actually found Adam through SoundCloud. I reckon over year nine or 10 when I was at school, I was going through some acoustic artists and uh, his name popped up and at the time I was making, I was looking at Photoshop an art class and I asked Adam if he wanted me to give him a hand with any uh, album covers and since then we've just kind of connected and I've recently just messaged him probably about 12 months ago, I wanted to uh, put together a song and we'll probably delve into that, you know, at some stage today but obviously I'd like to, you know, Hand it over to, to Adam so he can kind of share his story as to how he got into music because I think music is such a power, powerful thing in that, like, if you really delve into some of the lyrics, there's obviously meaning behind it. There's reasoning behind why why songs are shaped to what to how they are. And obviously, I'd love to learn a lot more with um, from Adam's point of view because this is actually the first conversation I've had with Adam rather than over text. So this is, like, really exciting for me too and it's really raw. So... The conversation is going to be great and it's going to be exciting for me. And I hope Adam gets, you know, quite a bit out of it himself too. And anyone else listening in might get something out of it. So I'm going to hand it over to Adam now and you can um, kind of maybe go from the, the start of his journey into um, creating music and maybe some of the things he's gone through in the past that have shaped him to who, to who he is today. So awesome. Thanks, bro. And I'll, um, I'll hand it over to you now, man. Oh, man. Pleasure's mine. Thanks for having me on. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I recently just started making music. I mean, it seems like a while, but it's only been maybe like five years. Yeah. since I've really, but my whole life, man, ever since I was a kid, like I've always been drawn to music, uh, listening to it, watching people play guitar. Like it's always fascinated me. And yeah, maybe like grade 12, like end of high school, starting college. That's when I was like, man, I got to learn this. Like, it's so cool. Like, so I just picked up a guitar and I just started going from there. And then I don't know, like I just put music up on SoundCloud and pretty much like, I think you messaged me or like we met through there, yeah. like right at the beginning, like I literally made maybe two songs and then you were like, so it was really cool. It was interesting. And yeah. speaking on SoundCloud, man, like <laughs> it's one of the coolest websites I've ever been a part of. Like, you know, people like you meeting people like you, uh, anybody i mean i've gotten messages from people in like germany and like all these different places oh, yeah, bro. And yeah, just... some, some of your songs have have blown up you've got quite a few views it just, yeah. it just shows that like the power of music and and the lyrics that you put behind a particular song how how much it can make it have an impact on someone yeah absolutely man you know like that's better than money or anything like you know when i get those messages of people like the other day I got somebody, uh, they said like, oh man, you know, work's been stressful, you know, life's hard. But he's like, I listened to one of your songs and it, it helped me like in that moment. And that to me is better than any money, any fame, anything, man. Like that's, that's what it's about really. I, I do it for myself to help me. And if it helps anyone else, man, like that's even better. Is that, I mean, obviously you're saying that you've always been into, into music and, and the idea of, you know, someone you know, strumming a guitar and, and making a beat. Yeah. Is did you did you use music as an escapism for not thinking about certain things that might be going through your mind negatively or some situations you've been faced with in the past? Absolutely. You know, I think that's how I uh, really got into it. Was just I was doing it for me, man. Just to you know, because when you're making music, when you're in that kind of state, like that flow state, it's pretty much like the best feeling ever. You're not thinking about whatever's going on in your life you're not thinking about it you're just you're in there you're just in in the present moment and i think that's what uh yeah man that's really why i made music it was just for me it was a therapy in a way like it was just to get any problem i had you know if i pick up a guitar and try to make a song i mean i feel like 10 times better after so yeah 100 percent, and, and that it's extremely therapeutic once you've once you've got the lyrics to paper and, and then you've got a beat behind it you it's actually, you know, you can sit back and relax and, and knowing that what you've created, you know, is, is truly coming from the heart and it's coming from a good place. And, and ultimately, uh, at the same time, if it can help someone else out, 
and you can find a bit of relatability and connection toward some of the things that you're trying to convey through a particular song, then that that's that's awesome. That's that's some, that's an extra. Yeah, no, exactly. And like, you know, I made we made a song, or you wrote your own song, your lyrics. So like, yeah, you know, and I know that came from yeah. a like a struggle, or I think you said an injury, right? A electric, yeah, you got electrocuted yeah, it was just, or something. It was, it was during a time when and it, it was kind of like. What, what made me want to start this podcast series with my mate and that just went through a bit of a rough purple patch. And, and yeah, one of the biggest things that I went through was that electric shock at work and, and having a, you know, a life or death experience. But through that, it's a bit of a wake up call and that you don't want to make the most, you want to make the most of every opportunity now. And yeah. I mean, through that, when I was still in a bit of a flat state, I, I just went, you know what, I don't, I don't have a tendency of expressing my negative emotions. I, I usually hold it in. And as blokes, especially, we're not trained and taught how to do these sort of things. So I just went, stuff it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, you know, write some lyrics and, and see how I go. And I thankfully, and I, I thank you, man, for, for, you know, helping me put this song together. Because like you said, with some of the songs you've, you've put together on SoundCloud, it's such a, therapeutic experience and once you've got it out there you can kind of just sit back and and you feel like a like weight is lifted off your shoulders yeah because because no, you know no. your your thoughts and emotions are out there and uh, you got nothing to hide yeah that's what that's what i was going to ask like after writing all the lyrics down and like hearing the song complete like i don't know was it like almost kind of like a close like a closure of like all those traumas and stuff in yeah the world? yeah so yeah, pretty much, man. Obviously, it was still a bit, a little bit difficult for me to talk about it because it was quite fresh. But it ultimately did help yeah. me. It probably kick-started my uh, my recovery phase, and that without it, I don't know if I would be able to express some of the things that I said. And and then and then led me on to doing an immense talking group when I where I opened up a lot more and spoke about this sort of stuff. But without planting the seeds of of the the lyrics that I created for this song. I don't think I would have been able to do it. So I really appreciate what you've done, brother. And, you know, you, you, you took up time to be able to do it, man, and you didn't have to do it. So always message me if you want, man, if you ever need anything. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, honestly, being a part of, like, something like that, man, is, is cool. It was a cool experience. And it was fun, man. Like, I love making music. It doesn't matter yeah. what it is. So it was a good time. Yeah, so, like, long term, with, with regards to music, do you, do you see yourself – continuing on the path of what you're trying to achieve now or do you do you want to get like a, a record label or uh yeah you know it's something i've been thinking about for a while but i don't know like i'm in a weird you know I, i'm only i'm in my early 20s i don't know how old you are yeah i'm 21 21 yeah so i'm 23 a similar age so i'm still kind of just figuring things out i don't really yeah. know but yeah, I mean, we'll see. Like, I know forever I'm going to be playing music. It doesn't matter, yeah. you know, but if that's something I want to do in terms of, like, a career kind of choice or, yeah. you know, it's still yet to see. But right now I'm just – I've just been making music for – pretty much for fun, you know, making a little money yeah. here and there. But, yeah, man, just playing shows, playing uh, whatever, playing little gigs here and there at bars and just having a good time with it. Yeah, that's it, bro. And, and and something I've learned is that if you've got a real passion for something, you won't, you'll never lose that passion. It's just about uh, kickstarting it. And the moment you kickstart it in whatever area of work you may be doing, for say for me with this podcast series, I've always been wanting to, I've always had a passion for helping people out. And it's just, it's a matter of like I can easily say this to anyone that oh, I want to start off this podcast series, but it's a matter of of actually you know making the effort of putting you know. Finding, figuring out a name, you know, making a, a little logo, what is what the meaning behind your podcast series, all the little thing, bits and pieces. Yeah. And then once it's put together, you can then relax and, you know, you, your passion will kind of just take over and, and it will just continue to grow if you've got passion, bro. So why I'm saying this is because you've got, you've got the foundation. It's just whether or not you want to, you know, have you hold your passion behind your music, but, because I think you've got extreme potential, man. And because all your music is, is very catchy. You know, I've, I've realized recently, like everything's about action. Like you were saying, like, you know, you can think about these ideas like yeah. podcasts and stuff, but uh, 
you know, actually doing it. Like you, you actually got it set up. You actually got the logo, you got the name, the idea, everything. And you, you executed it. And that's really what it's all about. I'm yeah. realizing is just executing on the action and just, you know, that's less it. thinking almost in a way. That's Don't it. think about like, it as much and just go for it. Do you really want to progress and get to a stage where you're like, you might be making more money or people know no, like, you know, you're better well known because your, your brand's now out there because you've put in the hard yards, you can do it, but it's just a matter of whether, whether or not you want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. For everything. I think you need to go like all the way, like you got to devote all your energy to one, to whatever, as soon as you find what you want to be or what you want yeah. to do, you know, you got to like devote everything to it. And then once you do that, like eventually it may take two years, it may take 10, 15 but I'm realizing now eventually it always pays off. Like I have a cousin who's uh, you know, his dream is to be a pro basketball player. Yeah. And I've watched him from, you know, just from just a guy with a little dream, whatever, just, you know, people saying things, you know, oh, it's, you know, it's crazy trying to be a pro pro anything these days. And, you know, I've watched him pretty much do that. Just put in the work, do everything he could to, for that dream. And now he's, you know, he's signed to an agent and most oh, likely wow. he's going pro soon. So, yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. So seeing that, yeah, man. So seeing that with my own eyes, you know, you just, you realize it is, it's cliche to say, but it's just hard work. That's it. That's it, Put man. your head down and work. That's it. And I've mentioned this in previous videos. I think it's the, the thought that like people, people want the long-term fix straight away and all the work in between, no one wants to do it. But if you can actually yeah. sit down and like, in terms of your, your cousin on the brink of becoming a pro basketballer, if, if you sit down and go, look, okay, so uh, I'm quite busy through the week. So if I go every afternoon for a couple of hours, I will devote time to train and to get my ball skills better. If you like break it down incrementally over time, you, like that goal will look a lot easier to, to grab and rather than going, Oh shit, look like uh, this is where I'm at now. I want to be a pro basketball. There's no way to get there. But if you think like that, you're not going to achieve it, but you to do little, little small things that will lead you to a potential, like, you know, to potentially becoming that. Yeah. 100%. I think you gotta, you know, I, I forget who said this, so I, I don't know who said this, but, uh, I'm not going to get the quote or whatever wrong, but uh, just getting better, like being better who you were yesterday, just being, yeah. just growing a little bit, even if it's a little thing, man, like, let's say you're in like a, you know, a bad state, you're, you know, depression or whatever, you know, even something little, like one day you make the bed, you know, one day you clean your room, something yeah. like that, like just being a little bit better every day. That's what it is, man. Just comparing yourself only to who you were yesterday. Don't compare yourself to anyone else because, it's not going to work. 100%, man. 100%. But in terms of the mental mental health in general, how do you think a mental health uh, music can have a positive impact in someone's mental state? I think it would be big. like Yeah. Uh, huge. I think uh, it could do both. I think, you know, if you're in a bad state, you know, I've been, you know, I've had some rough patches in my childhood and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, if you're in that kind of state and you're listening to, you know, some bad music, like people with certain mindsets, let's say like gangs and stuff like that. Like if you're in like a bad area, you're living, you know, a rough life and you're listening to music who only portrays, you know, violence, gangs, yeah. drugs, stuff like that. You know what I mean? That's, that's, if you're listening to that every day, you know, that's what you're thinking about every day. So it's just going to perpetuate. It's going to make it way worse. But, you know, on the other side, if you're, you know, if you're feeling down or whatever and you listen to music that's uplifting or at least, you know, it changes your perspective almost. Right. It's like, it's like the things you read, the people you hang out with and music you listen to, like all that, like it all adds up. You know, if you, if you want to be happy or you want to be, you know, a different mindset, a positive mindset, you know, if you listen to only positive music, you hang around positive people, you know, it's, it's gonna eventually you're just gonna start going to that positive direction like yeah it's bound to happen so i think yeah i think it's huge 
and like we were talking about before therapeutic wise even if you're honestly i believe even if you're awful like if you're an awful singer you can't play an instrument for your life like who cares no one cares like just hang out in your room and just have a jam man like just jam have a good time and i I'll, I'll detest that. That's that put me in that category. <laughs> hey, I heard it is. You're not that bad. You're not that bad. Uh, you know, but, I can only one can only try, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, just just have a jam. Who cares? You don't have to put it out there. You don't have to be, you know, a music star or anything like that. Just jam. You know, whatever problem. Try to write a song if you can. Try to, you know, play something. Even it don't. You don't have to sing whatever whatever music instrument you want and yeah man i think it will help like i think just being in that present moment just being in that flow state while you're just jamming will help anybody like yeah yeah it's funny you say that because when i was when i you know when i was going through a bit of a tough time i think music did have a like a huge impact in getting me back into you know, like a positive a positive, positive way of thinking in that sometimes you just want to be by yourself and when you're by yourself that's when you, your thoughts take over and more, more or less it's more of the negatives rather than the positives and but if you can like sit down and relax and just listen to nice you know, some good tunes it will ultimately put you in a good headspace and and some of those thoughts that you might be having in the front of your, your mind will be put um, put the full, uh, foreground and yeah for sure I think music has a massive impact on people's mental state whether they believe it or not yeah I think it even like there is like science behind it. I think it like, uh, depending on what music like you listen to, I think it does change kind of like the hormones in your body. Like I know me, like if I, if I'm going to the gym or something like a nice, you know, like a pump up song, like, you know, nice heavy song, you do get energized. So it does affect you like physically. So, you know, it's very, it's huge. It's huge. Everyone listens to music. So a big part yeah. of everyone's it's life funny, it's funny you say that when you you know when you're about to go to the gym you, you listen to some pump up music it, it, it makes it a lot easier to to try and get out a couple of reps versus yeah, no. trying to do versus trying to do that particular set and you know obviously trying to lift max max weight without music it's probably unachievable and it's it's so hard to do yeah no absolutely especially too if you know those days where you're just not feeling it you're you know, it's a lazy day. You're like, oh, I don't want to get my ass to the gym. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and then you're like, oh, man. And then, but when that song kicks in and when you're in there, like, it's go time. Then you go. Like, That's you know, it. but without that song, you might just be like, ah, uh, you know, maybe I'll just do a little treadmill and then leave, you know? Yeah. So, Good. yeah, it's big. Good to go, bro. And how, so how, how are you and your family going at the moment with um, the whole COVID, COVID-19 thing? Yeah, well, we're doing good. Uh, yeah, pretty much everyone's back to work now. Pretty things are pretty normal now. Like schools, everything's pretty open. So, yeah, and just the yeah. re- reason why I ask is, I mean, obviously, I want to check in to see how you're going, man. But in in Australia, the the media is perceiving it to be. I don't know if it if it, they're perceiving it to be a lot worse than what it actually is. And obviously, there's been so many deaths in America and probably Canada as well, that that's all they talk about rather than the positives. And that's, that's why I was, you know, trying to get your perspective as where, yeah. like where, where Toronto is at in terms of, um, you know, getting back to normal. Yeah. Well, I know uh, like in the States, like places, I mean, I don't know, but I have like one friend who lives in New York and they were saying it's pretty like, it is pretty bad still in the States in some mm-hmm. places. But uh, yeah, here it's a little different. I think it's a, it's, it was a little better even in like the worst times than it was in the States. So it's, yeah, everything, even Toronto is opening back up. Uh, but it was weird, man. At the beginning, it was like, it felt almost like an apocalyptic kind of world. Yeah. Like, yeah, it did everything was closed cool. down. Yeah, yeah, everything was closed. Just downtown, like when I lived more in the city, it was like empty, barred up. Everything was like barred up and you know, but it's starting to, like, I went there the other day and it's starting to look, look yeah. back to normal. So in terms of where, at, where you're at the moment, because you were saying that you're, you're working at a, at a like a, a food gross, a grocer. Yeah. Just some, you know, blue collar, whatever yeah. kind of job just to get some money right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Now, once once this is all kind of um, folded over, where where do you think your future lies in, in terms of careers? Ah, uh, I don't. Yeah, I'm not sure. Still, you know, the music thing's one one route I could go. Uh, yeah. Crazy. This sounds like the way complete opposite, but I was actually thinking like military. Yeah, nice. Like joining the army. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a couple ideas I'm figuring out, but you know, I think for this year, anyways, I'm just gonna, you know, because it's a weird year still. Things are just starting to get back to normal, so yep. I think right now I'm just gonna be working, saving up money, and just trying to figure myself out and figure out, you know, what I want. Yeah. And yeah, we'll go from there. So you know, I've just I've just learned that if you if you want to give something go, you may as well try it like whilst we're still at the age that we're at. And then yeah. you know, obviously, you know, come 10, 15 years down the track, you're not going, oh, and kicking yourself, you know, because you, you wanted to give something a go. Yeah, yeah. That's honestly, that's one of my biggest fears, man. Just like being too old and having all these regrets and just, mm. you know, so definitely, you know, there's de- I'm definitely just going to try, try a lot of things and let's see. You know, some things may be a big failure. Some things may yeah. work. Who knows? But, yeah, yeah, man, just try. See what happens. That's it, brother. And if you were, were to uh, maybe get one message out of what we're trying to achieve today in terms of mental health and, and having a positive – and music having a positive impact on it, would there be anything you would, you, would, you would like to maybe, you know, share with the listeners in terms of what you, you think you've gotten out of music and, and how – Maybe maybe there's someone listening in who doesn't actually have much of an interest in music, but they're actually struggling a lot. Is there a message you could probably, you know, convey to them in terms of what you can get out of music if you're not particularly into it or just, just music as a whole? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think we touched on it. Uh, I think even if, like I said, like you said, even if you don't have an interest in music, you can't play an instrument, you can't sing, mm-hmm. whatever... You know, just you can listen to music, find similar, find artists that connect with you. You know, for me, I like to, uh, you know, when I was going through tough times, like finding artists too who've gone through similar things. So it's yeah, like sure. you almost hear it. You can hear it in their music. Uh, you know, find people that, yeah, find artists that relate to you because there's so many out there. You'll definitely find a couple. And yeah, so either play, try, try it, pick up any instrument, even if you're garbage at it, who cares? You know, have a good time with it. Um, and yeah, yeah, just listen. Yeah, listen to the right kind of music, I think. You yeah. know, when you're when you're really depressed and stuff, I know the the go to is to listen to some sort of sad song or whatever, but you know, don't try don't listen to that all the time. That's my advice. I say, you know, always try to if you want that positive, you know, change in your life, like try to listen to some positive music, uplifting stuff and yeah. You know, hopefully, hopefully that'll put you, you know, obviously that's not going to change or fix anything, you know, completely, but, you know, hopefully it maybe push you a little bit to that right direction. And then that's you know, it, hopefully, you know, I think yeah. for those who aren't particularly into music, just finding like common ground and or relatability toward a particular song. And like you're saying, if, if you, you listen to an artist that's gone through similar struggles as, as of what you're, you're faced with or things you've been through in the past, You'll you'll um, you'll soon learn how much of a positive impact their music is having on you. And if one particular artist might have a positive impact on me um, more so than yourself. Yeah, it's just finding trying to find that common ground. Yeah, exactly. Just you know, and you know, some lyrics mean more to others than it would to you. You know, like there's some songs I listen to, even if it's the song may not even be about what I'm kind of relating it to, but just the words they're saying, it's just like, I can, re- I just relate it, grab them, you know, relate it to my life. And it helps. It helps a lot. Even if it's, even if the guy who wrote it makes, you know, it's nothing to do with what I think it's about, but yeah, you know, just finding, finding meaning in songs. is the biggest thing, finding meaning in words and, and the lyrics they sing. From, from my point of view to you, man, you like, you wouldn't proud of yourself what you've, what, for what you've achieved, bro, because Ultimately, it's it's had a positive impact on me. For for me to reach out to you, you know, all the way over to Australia, that's telling you, mate. That's sending sending, uh, sending signals to you that what you're doing is a good thing, and it's ultimately, you know, having a positive impact on people, bro. Yeah, man. Honestly, it's that's the coolest part about 
you know, having my music up there online is just people like you reaching out. I mean, even if, yeah, if it was just one person, like it's to me, I, every time I'm always like amazed. I'm like, whoa, this person actually heard my song. Like, that's <laughs> crazy. But yeah, yeah, man. No, it's been a cool. And thank you, man, for reaching out because oh, it man. definitely helped me, helped me a lot. Yeah. So how, how did you, how did you find it helped you? Well, just, you know, the unsure, you know, you're making music and you're kind of like, oh, is this good? I don't know. Like, cause yeah. your perspective is always, every time I hear my songs, I'm always like cringing a little, like you're like, ah, oh. yeah, yeah. no one likes to hear their own voice and stuff. But you know, the feedback from people, people like yourself, like, you know, people reaching out and being like, oh, this has helped me a lot, you know, or this sounds good. Like that's big for me, you know, just makes me feel good. makes me want to make more music to help more people, you know, so. Yeah, and I and I completely get that. And that if you once you get a bit of, once you know that people are, are listening in and 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 uh, buying into the idea of of the music that you're actually creating, it you you know for a fact that you, like what you're doing is good and you want to keep doing it because you're finding it so rewarding knowing that people are are jumping on board and are getting something out of what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, absolutely. And it's like, it's fuel pretty much. It's fuel for all the creativity. You know, every time, every time someone messages me something like that, like, oh man, this song helped me in this moment. Like wow. it makes me literally just want to grab my guitar and just start, <laughs> start making another song. So yeah, man, I appreciate it a lot. So in terms of the music on SoundCloud, are you, are you currently working on any new songs at the moment? Uh, I got, you know, I, I, I'm the worst with like half making a song and then just kind of leaving it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a couple of things I'm working on and, you know, hopefully soon, hopefully soon I'm working a lot. So I'm very busy, but you know, hopefully soon I can, uh, yeah, make a couple, put them up. Yeah. No, sweet. As, and as I said, to anyone listening in, I'll, um, I'll put uh, Adam Hughes SoundCloud account on the link below and, any Spotify account? Is it? I mean, is there any other media, uh, social media platforms that you want me to mention at all? Uh, no, that's pretty much it. SoundCloud is the biggest one. That's the one I yeah. use most of the time. So Easy. yeah. Easy, man. But again, bro, I really appreciate you you taking up your, your Sunday morning to have this conversation with me because yeah, <laughs> it's good that we finally um, found the like the right time to be doing this and. I don't even know how I did it, but stupidly, like last week, I'm going, oh yeah, Sunday morning, let's do it, and I'm and I'm ready to go, and I'm like, oh, far out, like you know, Toronto time, not Australian time. It's just funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize, like, I didn't realize how far. I think a year ahead. Yeah. So currently, at the moment, it's um, midnight here. Dang. Yeah. Was yeah. it Monday? Monday at midnight. Yeah, that's it, man. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I didn't real. I thought it was like maybe an hour or two off or something like that. But then I looked and I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Was, was yeah. time, bro. But, all right, again, bro, it's it's been an honor being able to have a, this conversation with you because for me, it, it's you've helped me in ways that I can't describe, bro. And just like all I can say to you is keep doing what you're doing because I know you're having a positive impact on on others, man. So. Yeah, just keep doing it, man. And, and the, 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 the points, the moments where you go, stuff it, this is getting too hard, I'm too busy, man. You just got to put that aside and, and try and find time yeah. for music, bro, because you got a passion and you're, you're good at what you do. So just keep doing it, brother. Thank you, man. Those are good words to hear. And, you know, same thing to you, man. I think you're, uh, you know, there's not a lot of podcasts out there that uh, touch on the subjects that you guys are touching on, like in terms of just like mental health and, especially with men, young men and stuff yeah. like that. So I think what you're doing is awesome, man. Thanks, so man. Thanks, man. It's one, it. things, one of those things where once you break the walls down and and you're as vulnerable as you possibly can be what, because you put your story out there, then no matter, no matter whether you get positive or negative feedback, you'll be accustomed to it and nothing will hurt you at all. And it's about just obviously just trying to get one person back on the track of of healing in terms of things that they may have gone through and once that one person's on the right track um, and the ball's rolling then people will hopefully join and, and do the same thing and that's and that's what we're trying to do man yeah no what you're doing is amazing man 
Thanks, bro. But yeah, this has been topic nine of uh, Couch in the Mind, clearing the mind one couch talk at a time. And today I've been speaking to Adam Yu from Toronto and we'll be covering the, top, the topic of the power of music. So thanks again, brother. And hope you have a, a good rest of the Sunday, man. Yeah, brother. Enjoy your night. Take yeah. it easy.